Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a route from bikepacking.com onto your Wahoo Element Roam. It's super easy, let's get started. So this process is really simple with an iPhone. Uh, the first thing you need to do is ensure that you have the uh, Wahoo Element app. Uh, it's the companion app that works in pairs with your Wahoo Element Roam and Bolt. Uh, so make sure that you have that app downloaded um, and you can get that on the App Store. And then the next step is to go to your web browser and head to bikepacking.com. Once you're on bikepacking.com, hit the menu button up on the top right corner and then hit Roots. Uh, and then you will be on our Roots page. So once you hit the Roots page, you will find all of our uh, Roots on our web page. And essentially we've got a ton of Roots ranging from overnighters to multi-month and week excursions. So for this instance, I'm just going to select overnighters over here. And then I'm going to zoom into the, uh, the east coast of the United States. And we'll click on this route outside of Harrisonburg called the Slate Springs Overnighter. Uh, so once you click on the, the route itself, all you have to do is view route here. And it brings up all of the route information, the statistics, the length, uh, who created the route, and then uh, a, a little bit of information on the route, where it is. Uh, and then you scroll down, you see photos, but eventually you get to this ride with GPS map embed. The map embed is uh, fun to kind of play around with, zoom in, and uh, you can see the topographies. Uh, typically there's point of interest on the map. All of the ride with GPS map embeds basically look very similar. You can also toggle on a handful of different uh, background maps. You could look at satellite imagery, which is really neat. So for this instance, though, all we need to do is download the GPX file. At the bottom below the map, you have download GPX right here. So what we're going to do is press that. And then there's a prompt that says, do you want to download Slate Springs Overnighter? You betcha we do. So we'll click download. And then it popped up in our download file here, which is right up top. So uh, I downloaded this a few times just to test it out. But what I want to do is actually get out of the Ride with GPS uh, app. So once you get to the home screen, there's two ways you can do this. You can either go to your files uh, folder, and that is uh, just by clicking files, my applications, or what you can do is just search slate on your search bar here. So slate, and then it's going to be the first thing that pops up. So click on that, and then you get to the, uh, the actual file. In order to get this file readable on our device, we need to copy it to our Wahoo Companion app. So to do that, all you have to do is click the share button on the top right corner. So we want to copy this file to the app. So I'm not seeing the option in uh, these apps right here. So what you're gonna have to do is go to more. You might have that option in there. I currently do not. And then uh, you're gonna wanna scroll down to copy to element. So before we click copy to element, we're gonna wanna ensure that the Wahoo is turned on and to ensure that both devices are talking to each other. So let's do that now. And typically it takes roughly 30 seconds or so for the Wahoo to, uh, to warm up and then maybe a few more seconds to pair with your iPhone. All right, so now that the Wahoo is turned on, we can press copy to element and the app will open and then it will prompt you to uh, rename it or, um, or you can even keep the name uh, Slate Springs Overnighter and I'm going to do that now. And then the route pops up um, and basically it just shows you it's 59.05 miles, uh, just under 7,000 feet of climbing. And then at the bottom, it also has an elevation profile. So up at the top right here, you have um, reverse route, which you can do if you want uh, to reverse the direction of the route. Um, if you're going in that opposite direction or just the regular direction. Um, and then on the top right corner here, it says select. So if the select uh, if that select button is grayed out, that means that the devices aren't actually talking to each other. 
But because it's blue, that means that the devices are talking to each other and that it's ready to upload the root to the device. So let's press select. And now it's syncing and you can kind of see the, the line loading on the iPhone there. All right, so that took about 10 seconds or so. So now the root is on the computer and it asks if we want to root to the start. Uh, typically I say no, unless I'm maybe within like a mile or so. Um, it's nice that it, it will root you to the start. It will avoid um, major roads, but um, if I'm not very close to the route yet, or uh, if I know where I'm going, then I'll say no. So nine times out of 10, I say no. And there you go. The route is loaded onto your device. So there is one other alternative way to upload the route to your device with your desktop computer. And I'll show you how to do that now. So go to bikepacking.com. And then uh, up top here, you'll see roots. Click on the root section. And from here, we've got the exact same options that you saw on the iPhone. I am going to just basically zoom into uh, Colorado and I am going to click on the Colorado Trail. So the Colorado Trail here, and then at the bottom right corner, there is uh, the view route section. So we'll click on that and then you get all of the information on said route. From here, we just scroll down again and we get to the Ride with GPS map embed. So when we get to the map down here, you can see download GPX is right here. But this time, what we're gonna wanna do is actually send to device. So it's this little uh, text link right up here. So click that. And so from here, you're gonna to wanna to ensure that you are logged into your Ride With GPS account. Um, and if you haven't used Ride With GPS before, it's an awesome way to build routes on your own. Uh, and it's the main route resource that we use at bikepacking.com and obviously a great way to share routes as well. So head to ridewithgps.com to get acquainted with that. Once you are, uh, make sure that you are signed in. Uh, log in right at the top right corner. I'm already signed in. So then uh, this send to device prompt will help you kind of step by step through how to upload the route to your uh, your device. So in this instance, all we're gonna do is upload to Wahoo. You can upload to other devices and your phone, uh, but we're gonna click next. And then it has been automatically added to my Ride With GPS account. So if we go to our dashboard here, let's upload or update the page. So instead of actually copying the route to your own routes and rides, it's pinned to uh, your Ride With GPS account. This is nice because it is the actual route that uh, is updated on bikepacking.com. So if there's anything that needs to be updated, we'll update it and then it will automatically update on the pinned account on your page. So we know that it's on the, uh, the Ride With GPS account. So what we wanna do now is go to our phone. So once we get to our phone, we go to the Wahoo Element Companion app. And then we're gonna to want to make sure that the device is paired and turned on. And then we go to workouts at the bottom left corner here. So once we get to workouts, what we're gonna to wanna to do is choose route. So as you see, the uh, Ride With GPS routes are syncing. It will sync with all of your uh, applications that you make routes with or upload routes for. Uh, for this instance, we use Ride With GPS and uh, it's just, it does take a little bit of time. It can take up to about 10 minutes or so to actually load a large route like the Colorado Trail. Um, so that's what it's doing now. All right, so it says up here, sync complete, as you see. So once it says that, your route should be up on your phone here on all routes. So uh, you can sort from A to Z by length. Uh, from proximity of where you are, uh, starred or by date. So the best way to sort it is for uh, sorting it by starred because uh, starred is gonna be all of the pinned routes that you download from bikepacking.com. So uh, we're gonna wanna search for the Colorado Trail, so T. And there it is, the Colorado Trail, 527.97 miles or thereabouts. So we'll click on that. And then it brings up the Colorado Trail, a nice line of rugged roughness and amazing vistas. 
Um, so what we'll do here is press that select button. The phone is paired and on, so that, that button is going to be blue. So we'll click that, and then it's syncing. So this will take a little bit just because it is a bigger file. Uh, but once it syncs to the device, it will kind of make a little noise here. So now it's loading root onto the device. All right. And so it has loaded. And it says here, would you like to root to start? Uh, even if I pressed yes, it wouldn't work just because I'm more than 10 miles away. And then you can look at the root queue sheet by uh, getting onto the... Uh, the map page. And that's how you upload a bikepacking.com route from your desktop. All right, and that about does it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or concerns on how to upload a route to your Wahoo Element Roam, please leave them in the comments section below and I will get back to you. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and thanks so much for watching.